Over the years, I've trialed many different diets for my woodies, and I've kind of settled on one. I've been using cheap, low-end dry dog food and grinding it up for my woodies, and it seemed to have worked really well. More recently, there's been a new suggestion that pullet is the way to go for woodies. People have been reporting that it's nutritionally better for woodies, and they seem to eat more and they are filled with death. So I went ahead to get a bag of pullet and decide to try it out for myself. After using it for a few weeks, my first impression is, I don't really like it. Subjectively, it seemed like my colonies were growing slower, and they don't seem to go as crazy over the pullout as they did with dog food. But that could just be a result of a sudden change in diet, or the weather was cooling down at the time I would make the diet change. They also seem to prefer dog food over pullout. But I guess what they prefer doesn't mean that it's what's good for them nutritionally. It was tough for me to decide which diet was better, since I couldn't make an accurate comparison between the two. So I decided to set up an experiment that is as fair as possible. I got two identical buckets and set them up in the exact same way. I used a roach sorter to filter out all the large sized woodies and counted 100 small woodies into each bucket. I placed both buckets over a heat mat that is controlled by a dimming thermostat, and I made sure to swap the location of the two buckets every week or two in case there's a small variation in the positioning of these buckets. I put aside exact amounts of grounded dog food and pollard so that I can compare the amount consumed over time. The amount of food in the cup is the only dry food the woodies will be eating for the entire experiment. The dog food and pollard was available to the woodies at all times, and it was topped up before it was finished. And for a source of moisture, I'll be adding small amounts of carrots into the colonies every now and then, and I'll make sure that I feed the exact same amount to each colony. Fast forward 3 months, it's time to get some results. The colony fed exclusively dog food have grown substantially. Many of the woodies have morphed into adults, and the sizes are appropriate. The colony fed exclusively pollard have grown substantially as well, but the average size appeared to be a little smaller. It has more nymphs and less adults. Many of the adults have weird and tiny wings, and some of the adults are also significantly smaller as well. The dog food colony consumed noticeably more food than the pollard colony, but the difference isn't huge. After some counting, the dog food colony has 89 woodies in total, whereas the pollard colony only had 66 left. 16 out of 25 winged adults have malformed wings in the pollard colony. Not a single winged adult have malformed wings in the dog food colony. I'm glad that the results of this experiment actually showed a significant difference between the two diets, so that the results actually helped me make a decision, and my experiment wasn't pointless. I'm not sure what's causing the malformed wings in the woody's fed pollard, but I have two hypotheses. Either the pollard is lacking a nutrient that is crucial for the production and growth of wings specifically, or the pollard is lacking a nutrient that drove the woodies to eat each other's wings to supplement themselves. Either way, it is likely that pollard is not as nutritionally balanced as the dog food that I was using. Whether it affects the reproduction side of things, I'm not sure. I didn't go that far with my experiment, but I'm not surprised if it does. But even if it doesn't, I would still go back to feeding dog food for my woodies as I don't like the idea of feeding woodies that might be deficient in certain nutrients to my reptiles. In conclusion, woodies that are fed a pollard only diet in my experiment had a higher mortality rate, slower growth rate, wing malformation, and stunted growth. So I'm gonna stick with my cheap dog food.